everybody welcome to another rusty mats video and welcome to my year seven series on number and the more i do these series the more i keep realizing that even though i class this as year seven series these are topics i would teach year sevens but it's useful for just about anybody um, because lots of these things you find that students going all the way to year 11 might not know. Even grown people might not know these things and why they become so important. But anyway, I digress. Let's get back to what we are doing. So you can see everything we've highlighted are the topics that we have been doing. If you're just joining this series, everything that's been highlighted we have done already so you can go back and watch those videos i will leave a playlist at the end of this video so that it's really easy for you to go and find them all in one place and in order okay this is my curriculum and we are about to jump into triangular numbers let's go into triangular numbers before we continue Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you will know as soon as a new video has landed. All right. Before we go into triangular numbers, I need to put a little template on the screen to make life easy for us to understand. Ah, there we go. There's my template right there. Now, you might be wondering what are triangular numbers and why are they so important? Well, simply put, simply put triangular numbers are numbers that you can make a triangle with. So if you remember, my square numbers are numbers you can make a square with. And if you didn't watch that video, click on the pop out banner up here to go and watch that video on square numbers. But this time I am going to do triangular. Sorry, I can't talk and write triangular numbers. And I'm going to write you can make a triangle with these numbers and now I'm going to demonstrate how to find triangular numbers so we're going to start first of all um, with the number one so let me get a really nice dark highlighter for this one so that you can spot it really easy. So you start with the number one. There we go. I've just put a dot there. So one is my first triangular number. So I'm gonna keep track of my triangular numbers up here. So that's gonna be the number one. It's my first triangular number. Obviously, if you haven't guessed it yet, I'm now going to put a dot there and a dot there. So now I've got three. That's my second triangular number. That's going to be three there. My next triangular number. Let's keep making triangles with it. So that's one's going to go there, one's going to go there, one's going to go there. So my next triangular number is going to be six because I've had three. Now I've added another three to that. So that's going to be six. We're going to go for a few more triangular numbers and then we're going to stop because this is going to be a really short video. Okay, next triangular number, keep going. So you can see I've got a big triangle and triangle now, and I've just added four more to that. So this is going to be 10. So my next triangular number is going to be the number 10. All right, are you getting the idea? If you want, you can pause this video and see if you can find the next three triangular numbers. Okay, so pause it here if you want to but I'm gonna carry on with the next three triangular numbers. So here we go. So this next one is going to be 15. And then, and the next one is going to be 21. And then last of all, I'm gonna finish off with today And the next one is going to be 28. Now, I can hear that question coming through, coming through YouTube at the minute. How can I find my triangular numbers, you say, without having to draw all of these little dots and make all these triangles and so on? Is there a pattern to this? And um, I've got good news for you. 
Yes, there is. Now, let's see if we can figure out the pattern so that you don't have to go drawing these triangles. But in case you forget, you can draw the triangles. Let's see if there's a pattern. Right, so let's go and have a look and see what's happening with our numbers. I love it when maths is investigative. So we're gonna start with one, one is fine. Now to get three, we added two more because we just added two more there. To get six, we added three more. Ooh, can you see what's happening? To get 10, we had to add four more. So that's another four added on there. Can you see the pattern? So each number that you add on, you just add one more to it. So if I added four to my last number, I have to add five to the next number. And then I have to add six to the next number. And I have to add seven to the next number and so on. And that's how we find our triangular numbers. So two ways, draw them out, but at least now that I've drawn them, you can see how they work, or you can use the pattern that I have shown you up there. All right, guys, that's the end of triangular numbers. I have got a little task for you to leave in the comments for me. Find out how and when we use triangular numbers and put them in the comments for me. So go do some research. Is it ever useful anywhere at all? Find that out for me, put them in the comments. I'd love to read your comments on those. But for now, this video is finished. I hope you've learned something new. If you do, give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification so you will know every time a new video has landed. But for now, until the next one,